hello i have a ruler welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome today i am filming an unboxing of my ipad mini because i decided to get an ipad instead of a kindle but i'm still going to use my ipad for ebook reading um so today i'm going to unbox that show you what i bought for it so far which isn't much I'm very excited because I don't know why I didn't think about this, but I have a digital camera that has a screen that flips up. I have a Sony Cybershot and I don't know why I didn't think about this, but I have a camera that I can use for my YouTube. And I was like, oh no, these, this camera is so old. Like there's no way it'll be good but it films in 1080p and i don't need a 4k camera you know i don't need that i'm really excited and i can see myself and i can see it still recording i can see how many minutes i've been recording i'm happy because i was literally about to buy a new camera this past week while i was in new york and instead I bought my iPad, I bought my iPad mini, so that's what this video is today. But oh my god, I have my camera! I was like, oh man, like the iPad is already so expensive, maybe I should just get a Kindle, but I had already decided I wanted the iPad, I didn't want a Kindle. And I also said that I was gonna buy a new camera when my financial aid went through. But I was looking at it and I was like, oh my god, the camera that I want, which was the Canon G7X or whatever, whatever, the really, really good camera that I really don't need is like 600, 700 bucks. And I was like, I can't buy both. I need to buy one. And I saw that I think, if I remember correctly, the iPad mini can record in 4K. It was either 4K or 1080p. And I told my boyfriend and I was like, hey, like I, like the iPad films in whichever one it is um maybe i'll just try recording on that for now and i don't remember why but i have like this little purse that i kept this camera in and i saw it the other day before i left to new york and i was like oh there's my little camera bag but i never thought oh let me use that to record because i was like oh like it's it's probably like really outdated it's not gonna be good enough but then i remembered wait the screen flips upwards and that means <laughs> it's a vlogging camera so um i turned it on the battery was like almost dead but i tried to film like a little um test video of me and then it died but i remembered i filmed I used this camera at a five sauce concert and I was like standing pretty far back but I could zoom in really 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 close it has 30 times optical <laughs> zoom and I had all the pictures on here of the moon and like let me just show you what those pictures look like and I'm just like why did I not think to use this camera so this is my new vlogging camera my new not really new just rediscovered vlogging camera and today's video is going to be an ipad mini unboxing and then i'm gonna turn it into my little e-reader obviously i'm gonna stream and stuff on it i'm like i don't i don't suggest spending five i don't suggest spending as much as i did which is like five to six times more than a Kindle on just e-reading. So if you are going to use it for more than that, like go ahead. If you're only going to read books on it, do not get an iPad. Don't get an iPad, just get a Kindle. Just, yeah. And I will talk about why I chose to get an iPad rather than a Kindle in this video. And now I'm going to do my little unboxing. Um, I'm going to do my unboxing of my iPad mini, what accessories I got for it, and then we're going to log into my Kindle Unlimited. And we're going to look at what books I am excited for. I have been like creeping around Kindle Unlimited and like adding some stuff to my list. Hi. Let's open the ipad first because that's the exciting part so i got a purple ipad of course so let's 
unbox it. I don't know which way to do it because I'm gonna have to flip the video regardless. Anyways, I'll just do it like this. And I decided, wait, oh, I thought I was gonna make a noise. Nope. <laughs> I decided to get an iPad mini instead of a Kindle because, um, okay, my main reason is really dumb. It's not really a main reason. It's like, it's one of the reasons I decided to get an iPad instead, but something, I hear a cat, something about the Kindle being in black and white, I just did not like that very much. Obviously the pages are in black and white, I know that, but the covers were in black and white as well. And I was like, no, I don't want that. So that's one of the reasons I got an iPad instead. That's not a good reason, I know, but it is one of the reasons, I'm not gonna lie. Another reason is I figured that I would use it for more than reading. I would use it to stream, watch my YouTube videos, watch you guys on booktube, watch tv movies etc and i was hoping like i could edit and stuff on there as well when bringing my laptop out is just not ideal those are the main reasons why i chose an ipad over a kindle um there's probably more that i can't think of currently but if i remember i will mention them um so this is the ipad mini sixth generation from 2021 i believe i'm like will it say that anywhere oh i wish you could see luna she's flopping around yes ipad mini sixth generation 64 gigabyte i opted for the 64 because i was like uh i mean 256 was a little bit more expensive oh my god i want to show you luna luna come here <laughs> Ugh, she's not allowed on the counter, so she's probably like, what is going on? Look. Up. There. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, here she is. I've been waiting to open it because I didn't have the case yet. It was supposed to come the same day, but it delayed. Oh, I can see her tail. Anyways. Um, let's take this off. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, she's so thin. I don't want to touch the screen. Oops. Ah! Oh, cool. I've never had an iPad before. Ah! Ah! Oh, look, you can kind of see the setup of the camera. <laughs> I'm gonna let that turn on and put it over here. Um, this is just the paperwork, of course. Oh, hello to you too, iPad. Charger, I'm gonna take this out now because I got a new phone last year, I think. And I'm pretty sure I threw away the charger. Here's all the paperwork. I'll look through that later. And of course, Apple sticker. I like that they still do this. Because it's not, because it's not like they give us headphones anymore. Earphones. Okay. Eee! It's kind of weird that there's like, um, the speaker holes on the top too. Because I kept thinking this was the bottom. But anyways, I did get the purple one. <laughs> okay, let's do this. English. United States. What is this? What does that mean? What does that entail? Ooh. Ah. This is exciting. It's my phone. Don't look at my password. <laughs> oh, my phone just said enjoy your new iPad. <laughs> I'm not going to transfer anything because I want this to 
to be new. Lastly, I'm going to get Kindle Unlimited on here and then we're going to switch over to opening the rest of my stuff because, yeah. Kinful. Uh. I was like, there's two, I don't know. Yay. Ooh, Goodreads too. <gasps> and then I can finally get Libby. Come on, Kindle, open. Ah! Oh. Eek! Okay, now let me open the rest of the stuff that I got for my Kindle. My iPad. <laughs> so the next thing I got for my iPad is a, an Apple Pencil. And I was just gonna get one that was like compatible with iPad, but there was like a sale. I'm pretty sure the original price for the wireless one is like 120 or something. And it was on sale for the price of the regular wireless charging one. Wait, no, wired, wait, <laughs> USB-C charging one, you, whatever, whatever the other one is. And so I was like, oh, of course I'm gonna get it. What the heck? So let's open this up. <laughs> It's the Apple Pencil second generation, but this is for iPad models with Apple Pencil magnetic connector. As you can see, I don't have nails anymore. How do you open this? Oh. 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 Ah! Again, I've never had an Apple Pencil because I've never had an iPad. I don't know what is in here, but I'm assuming it's about the same type of things. Oh, does this have a sticker? What? There's no sticker in here. I think. Okay. And here is the pencil. This thing is kind of big. Oh my god. Whew, I started sweating. <laughs> okay. Here is the pencil. And now I'm gonna stick it to my iPad. Ah! <laughs> oh. Cool. Did you see that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways. Next. Oh my god, I can't believe I have an iPad. Never did I ever think I would get an iPad. The next thing I got is this screen protector. And I guess there is a lot of um, glare with the iPad. That's one of the reasons people said that the Kindle was better um, because uh, the glare. And I had heard a lot of people like this one, not only for the glare, but because it like felt like paper. So when you're using your Apple Pencil, it just feels better. I don't really know. Um, yeah, I also like matte regardless, so yeah i don't know if i'm gonna put this on on video because i think i'm gonna fail miserably so here is this and then i have my protective tablet case so i get a clear case i know a lot of people do this with their kindles um to put stickers on it i did that for my phone as well i don't have stickers on it right now but ever since i got a new phone I haven't put stickers, but I usually have a Nezuko sticker, but I wanted to get a new one. Um, I cannot stick stickers on stuff. The fact that I am putting stickers on my reading journal is very new to me. This is the reason why I have this clear case because I don't like to put stickers on things. I like being able to change them out whenever I want. I like 
being able to rearrange them and stuff like that i wish they had a case like this the glitter case i've had this for like my past three iphones because i love it so much it's so cute anyways let me open this case up ew oh geez okay i picked this case because one it is clear as i said but two it has purple edges and I thought that was so cute. Oh, I like it so much better. I thought it was going to be like a metallic purple and I was like, ew, that's kind of, that's not cute, but it's just clear purple. Oh my God, it's perfect. Eee, I love it. Oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh. What's that? Something is on here. Here's my case. Oh God, it's so cute. Oh, get off, get off. There's like little strings on it. Oh my God, it's cool. Okay, the last thing I got for my iPad is a bunch of stickers. Um, so yeah, they're just bookish stick. Oh, that's not <clears throat> bookish stickers. I really hope this is an actual sticker in there because look how cute it is. Some bookish stickers that I'm going to arrange on my iPad and yeah that is all for my unboxing of my iPad now I am going to give you um, some of the Kindle Unlimited titles that I am excited for and um, I'm gonna put my screen protector on i'm not going to film that because i don't want to mess up and then everybody see it so i'm just going to mess up in private and then i'm going to choose my stickers i will see you real soon okay that was very stressful and it took a really long time but i'm ready to reveal the stickers that i chose for my ipad ready um so i got put this one on there which says most ardently because i love pride and prejudice this one says for off i'm reading um this is book with maps club and i love this because every time there's a book with a map in it i'm like zach oh my god look at the map it's so cool this is my tbr and then it just has a bunch of like tropes and then the word smut in it so like smut but with my favorite tropes oh smut with plot fairy smut smut and feelings first in a series smut i didn't know i was into that smut smut and nothing else reverse harem smut enemies to lover smut smut with a side quest and this is a little kitty on a book and then this one says sorry i'm late i was reading but in purple this one is just a book with flowers and this one says probably reading smut and then it's like a book i like how these books look and then this one says books and coffee so that is my ipad and now i'm gonna go over some of the kindle unlimited books that i have found and i'm really excited to read and get into um uh, and then maybe you can give me your kindle unlimited recommendations like whatever's on there right now and yeah um i'm gonna try and get this speck of dust or i'm pretty sure it's like chocolate or something <laughs> it honestly looks like chocolate whatever that crumb is i'm gonna try and take it out and then i'm gonna film my little video of what i am excited to read on kindle unlimited so yeah yeah you i did get the little crumb off the back so he look at how she is so cute I don't know if I'm gonna get a pop socket. I've never had a pop socket. Like even on my phone, I just don't have a pop socket. Oh, if you're wondering what this is on my phone that I had holding up earlier, um, it's like, uh, it's the little tag that came when I checked my bags at the gate. Anyways, let's get into my Kindle Unlimited to read list, basically. What? Why is there? I didn't want to set a password yet, but I guess there's an ass, a password, a password. Okay, 
so here we are on Kingdun Unlimited and basically I'm just gonna go uh, through and let you know what I already saved I have a little list on here where is it where's my list I literally thought that said Jeffrey Dahmer I literally <laughs> read this as the Kenobi Keepers. <laughs> okay, I think I found it. I mean, it just says your Kindle Unlimited list. Okay, let's go through my Kindle Unlimited list. So let us start from the beginning. All right, so the titles on Kindle Unlimited that I am excited to give a little read eventually are the hades trials by eliza rain i'm just gonna read them off because i i'm lazy okay a court this cruel and lovely by stasia stark i stasia i don't think it's stasia i think pretty sure it's stasia the good thing about this book is it is on my 24 books that i want to read in 2024 so i think this was going to be my first one that 162 pages um the first one that i read um on my kindle unlimited <clears throat> on my ipad but like on kindle unli blah, blah, unlimited you know uh so yeah and then another book i have is rose of the fae by Brittany fichter um i don't really know what some of these books are about i think i like read really quickly through the little synopsis and I was like "Ooh, add to list I like to go into books as blind as possible so even like sometimes with the little blurb on the back I just skim through it and I don't even read it I get like the general idea and that's it the next book I have is Royals of Villain Academy by Eva Chase I thought that was an X oh this is books one through four interesting it's like the whole box set on Kindle Unlimited. Interesting, interesting. And then the next book I have is Forget Me Not by Julie Soto. And I don't remember why I wanted to read this book. Obviously the synopsis blurb summary. But I also saw this at Barnes and Noble and I almost picked it up on my trip to New York, but I did not. Um, the next book I have is Bewitched by Laura Talasa. I feel like she has other books that I'm interested in reading. Oh, she has Rhapsodic. So I only started looking through Kindle Unlimited Friday or Saturday because I didn't want to get too ahead of myself because I didn't want to find all these titles that I couldn't even start yet because I didn't have my iPad. So yes, I don't have that much on here yet. Um, next, I have Flame and Sparrow by S.M. Gaither. I'm really excited about this it's funny because i actually um right before i got kindle unlimited like i purchased my subscription i had been on instagram and i had screenshot this book before so it was already on my radar but it was specifically like an ad that mentioned it was on kindle unlimited so i was like ooh. um next is queen of roses by Briar Bolin. Oh, that's a that's a cool name. First Briar, then Bolin. Put put together. That's a really cool name. Wow. Oh wait, what? This says Fena. Oh, this says Fena Edgewood writing as Briar Bolin. It's a dark fae fantasy. Oops. Blood of a fae, book one. Cool. Oh, fantasy romance. A dark fae fantasy romance. Okay, the next book I have is Court of Shadows by C.N. Crawford. And I also have What the River Knows by Isabel Ibanez. And I saw this book at Target and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. And then I saw it was on Kindle Unlimited. And I was like, oh my god, that's even more interesting. Because it's basically free. <laughs> um, I also have Gilded Wings by Jamin Eve. Protected by the Faking by Vera Rivers. Um, Icebound by Meredith Trapp. Where the, oh wait. Oh. How big of an age gap? I don't 
know how I feel about age gap romances as a, like a trope. Like, I guess obviously it depends, right? I don't know. I'm older than my boyfriend, but like by two years. I don't know. Anyways, the next book I have is Center Ice by Julia Connors. I don't remember why, but I was like, ooh, that's interesting. And then I have The Night Shift by Annie Crown. I don't remember who was talking about this book, but they basically said, said, said that she works in a library. Oh yes, she works at the library and he is a basketball player, yes. I like to make fun of my boyfriend, not make fun of my boyfriend, but um, he used to play basketball. <laughs> I only have one basketball romance and I literally bought it on Saturday, but I'm like, I'm gonna picture you the whole entire time because he played basketball. Okay, and then I have Twisted Game by Eva Ashwood. I don't really know what that's about, but it looks like, doesn't this look like the Twisted series by Anna Huang? I don't know what this is about, but it's on there. So I don't know, I guess we'll see. And I have Of Sword and Silver by January Bell. Oh, this is a pre-order. What is this? And I also have, oh, oh, sorry. Once You Are Mine by Morgan Bridges. Um, I have The Book of Azrael by Amber V. Nicole. Promised in Fire by Jasmine Walt, The Road of Bones by Demi Winters, Blood and Steel by Helen Shorer. I'm really excited to read The Legend of Thesmar. Legends of Thesmar, sorry. And then I have Den of Vipers by K.A. Knight. I have Zodiac Academy um, by... Caroline, sorry, Peckham and Suzanne Valenti. I'm really excited about that. I have Crave by Tracy Wolf. I've been wanting to read those books for a really long time, but I just, I don't know. I, I'm not like motivated to buy them. So having them on Kindle Unlimited is very nice. Court of Winter by Krista Street. The Poppy War by R.F. Kuang. I am really interested in reading R.F. Kuang. I'm very intimidated by Babel, 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 but I think the poppy war is like a lot shorter and so I want to give that a go and then I didn't want to buy it just in case I am not like super into it um but having it on Kindle Unlimited nice then I have if if he had been with me by Laura Nowlin and I ever since the second book came out I've been really curious to read this like I'd seen it on the shelves before and I'd been like oh that looks interesting that looks sad whatever but I hadn't really been drawn to actually picking it up and reading it but then the second book came out and I was like oh now I really 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 want to read it um I also have Hooked by Emily McIntyre and this is another one where I'm like kind of iffy about it I was never actually um interested in picking it up like I, I would see it on the shelves and I'd be like oh I wonder what that's about and stuff like that but I just never thought to pick it up and then I saw it was on Kindle Unlimited and I was like maybe I'll give it a shot I think that's what's nice about Kindle Unlimited is that like you're renting the books and so there's no like financial obligation other than the $11 membership obviously but at the end of the day if I really don't like it I didn't spend 15 20 dollars on a book you know and at some point, even just reading one book will make back the money kind of, you know? So yeah. And the last book I have so far is Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. I have been wanting to read this book for so long and I was going to buy it, but I didn't end up buying it. But now I have it on Kindle Unlimited. So yeah. And now, the reason I don't have this series on my Kindle Unlimited app is because I finally bought the physical copies of the next two in the series because my book buying ban ended, but I'm going back on my book buying ban on March 1st um, because I have no self-control. Um, oh, no, just kidding. I thought A Fate Inked in Blood was on Kindle Unlimited, but it is not. Um, but, but 
the books that I need you to read are The Kindred's Curse Saga, Spark of the Ever Flame, Glow of the Ever Flame, Heat of the Ever Flame. All three books are on Kindle Unlimited. You can read all three books for free. And each book was like 20 bucks. So you are basically saving 50 bucks if you read all three of them. And then I would like for you to pre-order um, Burn of the Everflame. Oh look, it will be available on Kindle Unlimited on June 1st. So yes, I need you to read The Kindred's Curse Saga. Like it is an absolute need. Like, I, I, look at these covers. Look, look at how they go from some fire and then like slowly just engulfed in more flames like genius genius okay i need you to read this series please my life depends on it just kidding but i again as i have said like four billion times i have not been this excited for a series since akatar and i know i was very excited for akatar and then i didn't read for four years but but my point remains i i just 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 do it take a chance on it take a chance on it take a chance on it and if you hate it, I will give you $11. No, I won't. I, I, I can't do that. I'm sorry. But I will pretend to give you $11 if you read it and you don't like it. But I just think you should just give it a chance. And while you're at it, watch my review of Spark of the Everflame. And if that doesn't convince you, then I don't know what will. But please. 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 If you have not read spark of the everflame after my little review why okay i'm gonna go back to scrolling through kindle unlimited and adding a bunch of books to my kindle unlimited to read list i'm sure there are tons of other books but again i've only had like a few hours total over the past like three days to look through kindle unlimited and really see what they have because i didn't want to get too ahead of myself when i didn't have my ipad yet because i didn't want to have 500 books on my list already and zero ipad so yes i forgot to mention earlier one of the main things that i will that i would really have liked getting a kindle for is the battery life people have like their kindles they don't have to charge them for weeks on end that is awesome so that is one reason why i would have liked to have the kindle but honestly i don't think i'm going to use it outside the house as much or like where i won't have access to a charger it doesn't really seem like an issue to me it's just really nice that you don't have to charge it as often i'm probably gonna look up some tips on how to make it better for reading but if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comments down below and yeah it's so cute thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video bye